We're still getting our score, though. Nice little Manji coming down. I was praying that was not going to be someone that was going to hit me. Oh, we are moving. This car... <laughs> this thing is actually killing it right now. Everybody. Welcome back today guys to the channel Forza Horizon 4 back today with something that I've been wanting to do uh, since we actually got this car on a wheel spin episode and that is the Caterham R500 Super Light. This is a Forza Edition car. It does have a drift skills boost bonus. I figured we try to get the highest score possible with this car. It is pretty crazy man. It's about 690 horsepower. I actually took the restrictors and put them back on the car just because it was pushing over 700 horsepower. I feel like it's just way too much. 1200 pounds right i mean 2.6 liter real wheel drive and it looks pretty good we uh changed up the rims a little bit we took off the wing we took off the front arrow we just had the cage and uh, a nice custom metallic gold paint job on this thing man really excited for today's episode thank you guys so much for watching once again and don't forget to slap that like button now i wanted to test out the car mastery for today now this is actually going to give us a little bit of a boost on our skill chains and this skill chains increased by five so if we can grab that can unlock because we need to get this one first. You actually have to unlock the first one to get the next couple of ones. Thankfully, we have 76 points available. I'm getting dummied right there. 76 points available right now. We have Lucky Hit. Gives you a chance to win another car. Get an instant wheel spin. We go ahead and unlock that perk. And then that's going to give us that five on the thing. Did we just get... Oh, okay. Looks like we're taking the spin now. We have 11 remaining. I did not want to take this right away, but... Oh, the Q60, man. We can actually put a wide body kit on that, if I'm not mistaken. That is going to be really cool. I'm excited to test that out later on. Uh, we have five on there. Your car earns 10% more skill score from combo skills. That's actually not bad. Increased by 20% or ultimate skill chain scores increased by five. I think I'm going to do that one right there. That's going to be one perk point. 74 left, right? We have quite a bit, but you can do this for a lot of cars out here. Your car laughs in the face of danger. Each skill chain now takes two collisions to break. That's worth 25. That's a huge point. I'm probably going to put that on a drift skills car that I want to keep. I'm probably going to sell this car after I'm done with it for today. You know, I do like it, but I've never really been a fan of the Caterhams, to be completely honest. They just handle weird. I'm hoping we don't have that same issue for today as well. All right, now, last episode, if you guys were around, we figured out the handbrake does actually work. So we have a working handbrake for today's episode. We're going to try to get the maximum amount of drift score that is possible. And uh, let's see if we can do it in what, say less than, I think we can do it in say maybe less than three or four attempts. Our skill score isn't probably high right now, so I'm thinking if I can get maybe about a million or so, I'll be happy with about a million. That's probably what I'm going to go for, but this is already seeming to be a really hard car just to control. Foot down, I mean, look at this thing. Oh my god, okay, we're going to just, oh, no, no. Well, seems like, uh, right, our best friend showed up, man. The rain is here. Definitely not what I'm expecting. I'm getting wet right now. My girl's shirt is getting soaked. Hate sitting in a wet seat, man. That is probably the worst feeling that you could actually have is sitting in a wet seat when you're dry, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying. I have a quick sip of my coffee right now, man. Let me know what you guys are sipping on down below. A couple nice views. Oh, man, this is nice. I'm going to run this for a few here. Now, I need to see the highest score is currently to beat. That's, that's what I need to do. We got stats down here. Garage value, 25 mil. Man, that's that Ford GT40 sitting in there. Skills. All right, our highest skill score is 176. That's not bad at all. I think we can definitely beat that. That's what the Subaru to 176,000 is all that we need to beat for today's episode. Obviously, each episode, we're going to try to beat that score. That man just ripped right over that. That was actually really cool. Oh, okay, yep, a little bit too much. I mean, I even took power out of it from when I actually got it, right? I mean, that's the crazy thing about it. It's really got to be easy on the throttle. Cannot stress that. Oh, my God, this thing is hard to drive. I'm about maybe two-fourths. That's a half. Yep, I can't do any math right now. It's a struggle. It's fun, though. I'm half throttle is what I was trying to say, man. My damn... My brain locked up on that. I don't know what happened. We're still getting our score, though. Nice little Manji coming down. I was praying that was not going to be someone that was going to hit me. Oh, we are moving. This car... <laughs> this thing is actually killing it right now. It's really sketchy, but... If you just... Right? Have a little faith in it. Gas it. But not too much. 
Oh yeah. These roads are so nice, man. I feel like we can just connect every No, no. Are you seriously? Okay, I was I was really happy with that run, man. I really was all over the road, man. Fourth gear is still hauling ass, so what I'm gonna do. Gearing, we're gonna stretch it out even more. That should be a little bit better there. It's still super soft, so I don't understand, man. It's pretty quick. We're gonna bring this differential down even more, maybe 49%. And that should be good. Tires, I'm gonna maybe 23.5, yeah, okay. I mean, almost 700 horsepower. This thing's pretty quick. We got a beautiful day out. What's the temperature right now? It's 56 degrees Fahrenheit. No idea what that is right now. If you guys can let me know what that is in Celsius, I would appreciate that. Look at it, man, still. Woo, Skills Event Horizon hoodie. Is that what that said, hoodie? That's pretty cool. Definitely going the wrong way. We should be going up towards the, the town up in Edinburgh. Get some tight corners, all right, hold some lines. So what I'm gonna do is actually maybe make my way back up this way. So we're gonna huck it a Yui, and we're gonna uh, make our way back up here. And this should probably give us the best way to get enough points to actually uh, beat our high score right now, which I probably did on that first run, but. Turn left. I was disappointed. You just gotta really be easy with it. Oh boy. Yep, yep. There we go. Drop the clutch on it. Alright, it just becomes a little bit more, say, slick out there. You don't have those tires just 100% on. Oh, yeah, maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe we're okay still. We're still pointing. Yeah, we're still getting points. We can drift this little city too. It's actually pretty sick. I am using the full Fanatic rig right now, the V2.5 base, we got the handbrake, the shifter, we got the pedals underneath, and we, and we got the wheel stand pro chassis to do so. holding this whole thing together. Oh yeah, this catering is real nice. It's fun though. I'm definitely going to let somebody else enjoy this car and throw this up in the auction house though, to be completely honest. Oh boy. That sucks. The bus stop killed it. Who's this man? The Duke La Roca. I hear your horn, sir. Can you hit me? Is that possible? Oh, it just braked him. No, he's not there. Okay, never mind. I thought he was there. That's good though, man. They actually did a really good job of making them look like they're there until you go right into them. And then you know that they're not. Hopefully this guy's recording or something, man. Post this on this is safe to do so. Oh, we're definitely going up here. Drift skills boost right here. I'm curious to see how much we actually get on the drift skills bonus with this car. I really don't know what it is. Oh my god, it's definitely uh, not. I think I was doing better with the car in cockpit view, man. I mean, that's, Turn around. that's what I'm when thinking right now. So. Maybe I'm just too much on throttle. It's going to be attempt number three if we can keep this whole corner going. There we go. Alright, we're officially on our attempt. Number three. This car is just all over the road. He almost ended my shit right there. We got a lot of people over here. I'm now going off-road. This is not good. Ever. Horizon Live event. That's why everybody's here. You can see this rear end, man. Just wanted to grip up. It's the perfect balance in this fourth gear because it just hooks. Look at this thing. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's going to hook right down the mountain. We're still technically getting points, though. Reverse entry. Oh, my God. Reverse entry into the forest. I like it. And we're redoing our exact section. This is the new drift section out here. I want to see everybody running this online. That's all I'm saying right now. I'm just kidding. 17 grand. We got traffic. This way, yeah. Okay. Fifth gear, maybe, shall we? The wheel is just violently going around right now. It is a definite handful. We're full throttle coming down the hill. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Fifth gear. Oh, no. Jump trees? Am I going to keep this? Go, go, come on. 26,000 times 5 is not going to get me there. Thankfully, I got a nice little bump save. We're in the, we're in the swamp almost. Top down in the water. That's not good. 30,000, we're still going, somehow. Don't ask me. Go. No! We didn't even beat our high score. That's 151. We needed, what, 157? Shit! Our last attempt definitely needs some upgrades, okay? We're gonna throw some more power on it. We're gonna upgrade the tires, because I'm currently on stock tires, which I do believe is street tires. So I'm gonna throw on some sport tires, get a little bit more grip out there, increase the horsepower just a little bit, and we should be good to go, I feel like. We're not gonna really have any issues um, in terms of 
you know, the car just kind of sliding out, I feel like. But I'm going to give those 275s a chance, though. I'm going to throw those back on, see how they do. Got one last attempt here to beat our drift score. We got to get it done, man. This is our only chance that we have to do this because this car is going up on the auction house at the end of this episode. You guys are going to see it go up. If you guys do want to pick it up, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. You're probably not going to have a chance, and I don't want to be that guy to just say, oh, yeah, you know, try to find it because it's not going to be up there because it's going to be sold. This video will be going out a little bit later than when you guys are going to have an opportunity to buy it. But I will tell you, though, uh, I will be putting a lot more up on the auction house. So make sure you guys do follow me on Forza Horizon 4 if you do have this game. And we're going to try to uh, start our drift score right now. Start the clock. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, no. Can you please uh, restart the clock, please? Okay, yeah. Try again here. I'm going to go back into my Turn cockpit around. view. Yeah, I did so better when so. I was in here. I don't know what it was, but this is a nice little corner here. Clutch kick. No. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Uh, that was pretty damn close. I've seen that happening. Trying to get throttle back here. We're going to probably take a left. Oh! Or just grip up, too. That's fine. That's those damn 275s back there. Hooking. In yards, there we go, man. We can definitely left. link some corners. I feel like it's just it's a lot easier to just link stuff when you are in the cockpit view. Oh, wow. That was close. Is this a drift zone? Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. We're going to try to hit the drift zone as we're here. We're doing two challenges in one right now. I'm not mad about it. Definitely need a little bit more wheel spin yet. This fifth gear, though, it's fine. It's just, and we're really trying to get these high end extensions. It's, it's very hard. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy I was in the drift zone right there. Forza Fun Daily Challenge complete. Thank you. See you back tomorrow. Go I'm for. all over the road right now. I don't know what. I gotta tame this thing. I'm just trying to just stack the points up, to be honest with you. It's fifth gear, no lift. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. There we go, six gear. Just hauling. Damn. No. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the horn. Who was that? Oh, he got me, man. Thank you so much. He saw the whole thing happen. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today's episode. Um, we could not beat our personal best on here, man. We were so close. I was hoping that was going to be a breakable spot. We were getting risky. All I had to do was bank it. I had at least probably 165 in there. So, I mean, we could have did it, but... I got greedy, and I paid the price for it. So, with that being said, uh, this thing's going away, man. I'm going to go ahead and switch out cars. It didn't cut it today, man. We got to go ahead and get rid of it. All right, we're going to go over to auctions here, and we are going to start this. I like the paint job, though, man. The car came out really well. Hopefully, someone else can uh, beat their personal best, but I definitely couldn't, man. That was some bullshit right there. Starting bid, we only got... Oh, there we go. We can buy it out for 443 hours i guess we'll throw it up there for but maximum bid 443 credits i had fun with it hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode man don't forget to slap that like button you guys follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are found down below man forza horizon 4 going out all week on the channel really excited and uh, we got a lot of builds going up a lot of episodes don't forget to subscribe post notifications turn them on i'm out peace